We found him in this condition. We haven't touched anything, as you always request, Inspector Jack. And that's what you should always do, you damn fool. Very well. Very well. Looks familiar. What about, uh, fingerprints? We didn't find any fingerprints. And it's impossible to take any. The fingers are smooth, like glass. We didn't find any teeth either, and no fingerprints around the body. As a result, no identity. Because you're not doing your job properly, you numbskill. Well, if you say so, I can trust you. Has anybody seen anything about this crime? Nobody saw a thing. And yesterday, the place was full of people. Alive, of course. But there is another thing you need to take a look at, Inspector Jack. Looks childish. We have no idea how it's connected to the crime. Crime without a cause of death, according to Dr. Stein. If that's a crime, of course. Have you seen anybody sewing his own eyes and then sticking something on his chest? Of course it's a crime. Well, maybe it's a crime. And you say that uh, Dr. Stein has checked the body? Yes, I did. Yes, indeed. As you have doubtless heard and seen, the face is disfigured. The weird facts are that, although there is no pulse, the organs don't look dead at all. I can detect some electrical movement in the brain, and no surface is pale or dark. Facts which, which could only occur in a man who is alive, or alive for not too long. Also, the eyes are missing. Missing? Yes. Yes, indeed. And some say that the eyes are the windows of the soul. <laughs> Others say that they're not. Well, possibly the second group have ugly eyes. But the last irritating fact is that the rigor mortis has not set in. The rigor mortis has not set in! Who could have written a note like this? Can you please tell me... Does this look uh, familiar to you? I've never seen it before in my life. I know that you are the last of your kind in this city. And it's my opinion that you know something you're not telling me. Look, this isn't even my style. Have you got something against clowns or something? Tell you what, you want to hear a joke? You want to hear a little inside joke? What is in a detective's mind 24 hours of the day? I, I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Come on, officer. What's in a detective's mind 24 hours of the day? I'm looking for the solution. I'm looking for the solution to a riddle. Do you have any books which may be able to help me? Of course I will, sir. Could you show me the riddle, please? Uh, of course. Thank you. I'll have a look. Very good. Very good. Mm. 
Am I wasting my time here? I think I'd be better off in the horror section. Strangely, the riddle was only to be found in a children's book. The answer to the riddle, what question can you never answer yes to, is, of course, another question, sir. Which is? The answer is... Are you asleep? Jack? Do I know you? I don't remember giving my name. But Jack is a very common name. I used the name as a reference. Anyway, I've got you your question. Good day, sir. Who would post a riddle to a dead body? It's a rhetorical question, but I have to find the literal answer. Looks like coordinates. What if I just take the first letters of every word in the sentence? A postcode, maybe? Are you asleep? Excuse me. Watch your step, mister. Sounds extremely familiar. I think I'm missing something here. Ladies and gentlemen, old grumpy people and young joyful children, come to the Club Purgatory, where you'll find truth and lies where you'll find a solution to all your problems. And most of all, you'll be able to look into your mind. Come on, sir, don't be shy. Join our club and I promise you one hell of an entertainment.
Can you help me, please, sir? Lately, I've been feeling really sad. What I'm looking for is the key of happiness. I'm sure, sir, this will be an experience of a lifetime. Welcome, Mr. Jack. We've been expecting you. Do I know you? Do you know us? Who the hell do you think you are? Tell me, what is the thing that can be beat, but you can never defeat? Time. Time is a great healer, but not in your case, it would seem. I'm the doorkeeper, and I am here to give you an opportunity that you cannot refuse. All you have to do is enter a door that I will push you through. Door? What kind of door? And why am I supposed to enter it? The door in which you'll find the answers to the crime. But you need to find the purpose of it on your own. All I can do is show you the way. But remember, Mr. Jack, there's no coming back. All I need is your permission to let you in. I demand to know what's going on here. You're not in a position to demand anything. Get into the door, Mr. Jack! Do it now! Don't act like a child! I guess... I guess I have to enter. Wise choice, Mr. Jack! Wise choice. Welcome, my dear friend. Looks familiar. Jack, look what I found for you. Just what you always wanted, remember? I want to grow up, Mum. Why do you want to grow up, Jack? Why in such a hurry to enter the world of adults? Remember to remain as you are now. Honest.
I love time travel. So, the first piece of your puzzle is completed. But what about your greater mystery? Have you found your killer yet? Congratulations. You have just booked a room in where I am coming from. But we are not done yet. Do you know that there is another answer to the riddle? What question can you never answer yes to? Are you asleep? Or are you dead? I see now that you remember everything, Mr. Jack. Unfortunately, the rigor mortis makes your limbs quite stiff. So we haven't much time. And what happens now? D do I have an option? I told you I had kept a room for you. But because I like you, Mr. Jack, I will offer you a choice. Either you can live successfully the same life again and again and again, or you can forget everything and join me where I am coming from. I will... I... I will join you. I'll keep an eye for you. At last, the rigor mortis has set in now.